Hello everybody, welcome back to HP Outdoors, I'm Henry. And today we are doing the November Stealth Camp Challenge, which is basically gonna be a cook-off Stealth Camp Challenge. Now right now I'm in my truck, and basically what's gonna be happening tonight is camping in my truck. This is gonna be the first time that I'm gonna be filming me camping in my truck, so it should be pretty interesting. I do hope that this is like okay to do so in the challenge, like I'm not disqualified or anything. Um, I guess if I'm disqualified, I guess it's okay, but um, from what I understood, you can pretty much camp anywhere. So I decided to camp in my truck tonight, probably in a parking lot, but we'll see. So tonight I'm going to be making some goulash, and if you don't know what goulash is, it's basically going to be basically macaroni noodles, some tomato sauce, and vegetables, and some beef. So... It'll be pretty interesting. I'm going to cook it up in my truck tonight. It is an American dish, and I know a lot of my viewers might not be American, so I'm not expecting a lot of you guys to know what it is, and that's okay. Probably not even my American viewers. It's a pretty old dish. That was pretty popular in the 40s through the 80s. Basically, I'm going to go find, like, a park to park at, and I'm going to cook in my truck at the park, and then I'm probably going to find a parking lot to camp at for the night, so... We'll see. I know a lot of you guys have not seen the uh, truck setup yet. It's like I literally just finished it today. It's like I was rushing to get out of my house to film this. So we are going to go to a park. And so, yeah, let's go. All right, guys, so we are here at the park, and basically I'm going to get in the truck topper right now. We're going to cook something up and set up back there, and then we're going to go find a parking lot to camp in for the night. So let's go. All right, guys, so we are inside the truck topper here. So this is what we got going on. I'm going to warn you, I didn't finish this yet, but this is going to be the table here. And right now it's just still open, but I'm going to put doors here, maybe drawers over here, but I'm not sure. And then I'm on my bed right now, which I'll show you the features on the bed here. But right now, I'm going to start cooking. As you can see, I have some curtains here. And yeah, I don't have any curtains there, but I do have some reflective material we'll put on there. But not right now, because I don't really want to put it on while we're cooking. Like, I'm going to show you how to cook it, and I'm also going to have... I'm also going to have a recipe down in the description if you want to check it out. So, let's get started. Alright, guys. So, this also opens up here. We just lift it up like this. And I have a bunch of stuff in here right now. But I got to get the stove. Just like this. We are going to be using a propane stove from Coleman today. It's actually, this is going to be the first time I'm using it. I just got it for the truck camper and we are going to be using this today. Actually, when I pulled in here, there was actually a car in here, but luckily they left. I had to pull around in the neighborhood for a minute and then come back here, and the car was luckily gone, but I had to make sure it wasn't a cop or something because I'm not parking and cooking in my truck next to a cop. It's not a good idea. So I'm going to get this fired up here. is all open so i will say one thing this is definitely not filming ready i literally just got this done today and i hear some sirens see if a cop pulls up here i really don't know what to say i know these filming conditions they don't look very good like these angles and stuff really aren't very good but i gotta make it work so this is how it's gonna have to be i'm kind of in a neighborhood like there's a park in a neighborhood and that's where i'm parked but there is a main road right near here so I'm hoping those cops are going somewhere else. If they're not, I guess I'm just going to turn off my lights and um, hope for the best. So I'm going to cook the goulash here, and I'll show you how to do it. 
I'm going to be following two different recipes today because for the challenge I'm supposed to boil something and in one of the recipes it was basically just you throw everything in a pot and you're not really boiling anything per se so I'm going to make sure to boil the noodles instead of just throwing everything in a pot so that's basically why I'm going to be following two recipes the first step is going to be to fill the pot three-fourths full with water so however much that is I'm just going to pour some water in here three-fourths high now both of these recipes do make more than one serving I'm I only need one serving so I'm not gonna follow the recipes exactly but they are gonna be pretty close to how it's gonna be then we're gonna add about two tablespoons worth of salt so I'm just gonna pour however much I think that is in there I'm just gonna stir it with a spoon here So then we're just going to let that sit here for a little while. The next step is to get some kind of pan or skillet. In this case, I have my cast iron skillet. In the recipe, it says to cook the pan with oil. But I'm going to use butter because I don't really want to cook with oil in a truck like this. It's already pretty dangerous cooking like this. So I'm just going to use a little bit of butter. You guys can make this meal for like under $25 so really it's a pretty cheap meal to make and you don't really need that much stuff to make it now we are going to add the beef here so let's add it in all right you guys as you can see there is a car right there. I'm just sitting here, and the car's just right there. No idea what they're doing. Not looking good. It's getting hot in here. So now we want to add some minced garlic. In the recipe, it said about a, a tablespoon, but I'm just going to guess and add some. All right, guys, I'm going to put the noodles in in the pot they said put around a box in there so I added the onion and green pepper here so I'm going to put some tomatoes and some tomato sauce so the tomatoes in here that's a lot of tomatoes I don't know if we needed that much Let's add some sauce. Oh, it smells really good in here. Hey right, guys, we had a little mishaps here. I have nothing to wrap this with. Always make sure to bring a first aid kit. So I gotta find something to wrap this in. Then we want to season the ground beef with some pepper and salt. doesn't matter how much and you can also add other spices if you want that's just what I have for right now I also made this spoon here and also coated it with oil and it's ready to use so I carved this spoon here out of a, actually a 2 by 4 and I'll get into that later alright you guys so everything's cooking up nice we added some spices here you can add whatever spices you want honestly and I actually did end up taping this with a Kleenex to make sure the blood stopped. After the noodles are done, we're going to drain the water somehow and then pour this into there. That's basically what's going to be happening and then we're going to let it sit and the noodles are going to absorb all the liquid and stuff and we're going to add some beef broth after we pour that in there. So this is pretty much done so I'm just going to let this sit here for a minute. Cut up the vegetables before we came out here. I was planning to cut the vegetables when we got out here but what happened was I wasn't able to do so and I just decided to cut them before we came so but there was just a lot of problems going on and I basically 
probably should have memorized the recipe before I really started cooking it and showing you. So I'm gonna go strain the noodles out and I'll come back and pour the pan into there. All right, you guys, so I drained all the water from the noodles. And just mix it in here. I'm gonna add some beef broth in here. Just a little bit, you don't need much. And we're just gonna mix it here for a minute. And then we're gonna let it sit. I'm gonna put a little bit of Parmesan cheese in here. Actually, the cheese is optional, so you don't really need cheese. Most people put either Parmesan or cheddar. I decided to put some Parmesan in here. So we'll put some Parmesan in here and then just let it sit. Just wanna put about a, about a handful or two in here and then mix it around. So we got the food set in here. As you can see, it's um, it's a mess in here. I mean, this is not what I pictured. It's a complete mess. Food's everywhere, trash is everywhere. This is not exactly what I wanted to happen. Yeah, we're pretty comfortable. Like this bed, not too bad. I put actually some outdoor rug on here to make it more comfortable. I will make a video going over how I made this and what I did because there's a couple things that I definitely won't explain in this video and I'll do a tour in here there is a video going to be up of how I made this it might be up before I post this video it might not so you guys will be getting a sneak peek if it's not already up I'm just gonna be sitting out here for a little bit until that's ready to eat and obviously that's a lot of food like I'm not gonna eat all of that so I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry about how bad the filming is. I do feel like the filming is pretty bad. Um, I'm not saying my filming normally is good, but this one definitely doesn't feel very good. But there will be more videos of the truck in the future. While we're sitting here, I do wanna say how and why I got into stealth camping. So, how I got into stealth camping was basically YouTube videos and why I got into stealth camping was because I thought it looked fun. Also, why I still do stealth camping. I still do stealth camping because it's fun and I enjoy doing it and it's something a little bit different. Like it's not like a lot of people don't do stealth camping. This is not something that's a very popular type of camping. Um, now, a lot of people probably do camp in the suburb, but they don't call it stealth camping, even though it is stealth camping. People just don't, this isn't as popular of a camping. So it's pretty unique what I'm doing, and it does well on YouTube. So I keep doing it because you guys obviously like seeing it. Guys, so here's gonna be the taste test. It looks really good. As I said, I did make this spoon. I made it in around August, September, and I actually haven't used it. Yeah, so this is gonna be the first time I'm using it. So. <coughs> oh. That's good. That is good. I was worried that wasn't gonna turn out good. Definitely tastes like how goo I should. So this is actually really good. I recommend trying it. If you guys haven't heard of it or ever tried it, it's a pretty cheap meal. So. Um, considering how much ingredients in it are in it, it's pretty cheap. I got mine for around twenty-five dollars, excluding any any seasons or anything. As you can see, there is a huge amount of goulash. Um, definitely made a little bit too much here. I don't know what to do with this if I don't eat it all, and most likely I'm not going to eat it all. It is pretty comfortable in here. I'm not finished yet with this. Um. But I'm pretty much finished to the point where I can camp in it, but not all the way finished. Also, I will say there is enough space. Like, this is exactly pretty much how I imagined it. It's a little bit different than I imagined it, but it's literally almost the exact same. I guess I'm going to be eating here, and then I will update you guys in a little bit, and I'll set up my bed, and then we'll probably go find a parking place for the night. I don't know, I might stay here. 
I don't think so though, but I guess we'll see. So how you would basically open this was I drill the hole in here and I just lift it up. I can't really do it with one hand. And never mind, I guess I can. And, um, and then there's a secret compartment in here. And here's my sleeping bag right here. And then I set my sleeping bag there. And then I slide this back. And that's it. And then we put this rug back, just like that. And it looks like nothing was ever like that. I just had this blue foam pad. That's all I have right now. I'm probably gonna get a piece of like thick foam and use it as a mattress and then put like sheets and blankets over it. But this is what I'm using for right now. And I'll use a sleeping bag. And there we are. We set it up here. And this is where I'm going to be sleeping for the night. It's a mess in here. I probably have to clean this up. But yeah, it's a bad mess in here. But this is what I was expecting. Because it's kind of hard to keep this clean when I'm not really done with it. Like there will be like shells in here. And it'll look a little bit different in here. But like right now... This is what it looks like. It's a mess in here, but hopefully it won't be like this in the next time I go stealth camping in this. So one other thing I wanted to show you was that, so these curtains I caught here, it's not the greatest of job, but what I did was I actually put Velcro here and I Velcro this on here and then I Velcro the bottom as well. And if we want to roll it up, I have, I have some Velcro here and I'll roll it up in this Velcro and just do that. So it's actually really cool in here. As I said, I will show you guys a detailed explanation on this and what I did for this truck camper. And I will show you once it's finished. All right, guys, I also wanted to show you this cutting board I made. So basically I cut this log here and as you can see, it's pretty dark that's because I treated it but then on the back I burned into the wood my YouTube name as you can see HP Outdoors the S is a little bit crappy but it's not too bad so I definitely used this to cut on it definitely did work so yeah HP Outdoors and I burnt it into the wood with a wood burning pen I've just been sitting out here and I've been chowing on some Chips Ahoy Chewy. Some Chewy Chips Ahoy. I need some dessert, so this is what I have for dessert. Pretty good. Alright guys, so I decided that I'm just going to stay here in the park. Because I don't really want to drive and it's kind of late. It's about 8.30. So it's not that late, but I've already set up. And I feel like this is a pretty good spot. Nobody's really out here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to lock the camper. And I'll show you how I'm going to do it. So this isn't exactly a really good locking mechanism, but it does work, hopefully. Um, if it doesn't, I do have bear spray that I can use. But basically how it works is... We have a carabiner, just like this, and a carabiner on the other side that's attached to the, the loop on the bed of the truck, and then the chain. And what we do is we just want to do that. And what that's going to do is if somebody opens it, it's not going to be able to be opened. And obviously this chain is not very big. So I have bear spray with me. So if they do break the chain, then I can spray them with bear spray. I also did it on this side and this side I can actually show you. You can see we have the loop, the carabiner, and the other carabiner. And we just, 
attach it. Oh, obviously this is a pretty luxurious stealth camp. I mean, in my opinion it is. I literally brought a cooler and I'm sleeping on a bed. So I would say this is a pretty luxurious stealth camp. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put the reflective material on these windows and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. All right, you guys, there we are. So we put the reflective roll right there. And um, so that'll be blocking that window. And then we have to put, and then we have to put on this window as well. So let's put it on here. We are gonna put a little bit of carpet tape on here. So it stays. As you can see, that's on there pretty good. And that'll also keep us warm in the night as well. So I did actually manage to save a little bit of it using Ziploc bags and then putting it in the cooler here. But I'm going to put this stuff away and clean up in here and then probably go to bed. All right, guys, so I just cleaned this stuff up. It's pretty clean, so now we're pretty good to go to bed, I think. So as you can see, everything's looking good here. So I'm gonna go to sleep here, but other than that, it's pretty comfortable in here. It's definitely more roomy than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be like way too tight in here, but it's pretty roomy in here. Like I could definitely live out of this for a few weeks for sure and be comfortable. Definitely there will be more adventures with this a uh, truck camper setup in the future and so if you like this content uh please consider subscribing and so i know that you guys will want to see more of these videos yeah i'm gonna go to sleep here and i'll see you guys in the morning and i'll update you guys if anything happens hey guys so i just woke up here and uh, it's about i think about like 6 20 and uh, i'm gonna get out of here So basically how I attached this um, reflective material was with Velcro, as you can see. It also did un end up raining last night. As you can hear, it is raining right now as well. I did prepare this for the rain, if it was gonna rain. Um, it, the rain was unexpected. I actually didn't think it was gonna rain, but I don't think it was leaking. Sometimes it'll leak in here, get soaking wet, but luckily I don't think it rained that hard. There it is. Man. Sometimes these do not like to close at all. I don't know why. But yeah, this is where we parked. As you can see, there are houses over there. There's a road that goes there and then like neighborhoods that are all like here and then there is one road that goes there and then this is the park right here it backs up to a woods um and a trail so there is a woods over here you can't really see it and then over here is like a field and then there's like 
like tennis courts over here and stuff, but that's basically what we were working with last night. I don't think originally where I am right now was a parking lot, but um, over there is like the main parking lot. So I kind of went way back here. But yeah, that's basically what we we're doing. But it is starting to rain. So I'm gonna end the video here and get in the truck and go. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one.